Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry that it has been so long since I filmed a video. I have been just on vacation and just busy. I don't even know what I've been doing, but I've been busy and I'm very sorry that it's been so long. So I'm back and I'm doing a video that I am super excited about. If you guys saw my KonMari capsule wardrobe declutter type video that I did before, I'll link it below. I basically went through my closet and decreased it significantly. I have so so much less than I did and that's been going great but I'm headed in the direction of creating a capsule wardrobe and really picking pieces that are quality and that are universal and that um, I'll have fewer pieces but they're, they'll just be nicer and, and more mix and match, you know. The whole capsule wardrobe thing, it's all over the internet, it's all over Pinterest, everybody is talking about it but it's something that I think will really work for me because I'm very simple and I just want to keep it simple in all areas of my life and I'm starting kind of with my closet. I'm going to show you a couple of items today that I have recently purchased and then some of them I've had but you can still find items similar so I'll link the ones below that that I know you can get now and then I will just maybe try to find something similar or I might not be able to link it but this is all very basic stuff but this is the items that I think are a good start to my capsule wardrobe and if you are trying to do this or you're trying to simplify your wardrobe and you don't even know where to start maybe this will be helpful helpful for you the first thing I'm talking about is black high-waisted jeans if you don't have a pair of black high-waisted jeans I would say get you some because that is like a great base to your wardrobe if you don't know what to wear you could literally wear anything with these I wear them all the time I'm sure everyone in my family is like do you own anything else but I just love these. These particular ones are from Madewell. And I love Madewell jeans. They're such good quality. They fit me so well. They're a little bit on the pricier side. But to me, it's totally worth it. Especially if you have fewer pairs of jeans, then you might as well invest in some that you really, really love. These are the 9 Inch High Riser Skinny Skinny. And I am a size 26 if anybody cares to know. The next item of clothing that I love and I'm so happy I found this is a jumpsuit. I wanted a really good jumpsuit to add to my wardrobe and I wanted it in a neutral color and I've been ordering swimsuits off Albion to prepare for a Mexico trip that I went to and they had this jumpsuit on Albion and it is so cute. You're not going to be able to tell in this video. I mean I'm going to have to try it on so you can see but it's just a black kind of cap sleeve jumpsuit. It cinches at the waist it's a little bit baggy at the bottom, like the legs are kind of wide. It's a very like loose fit, but it cinches at the waist, so it gives you definition. And it's um, kind of like ankle, a little above the ankle length. And you could dress this down and wear it with like a jean jacket and sandals, or you could wear it with heels and it could be dressier. It's just really cute, and I'm so glad I found this. And they still have it, so this is definitely something you can get your hands on. So the next piece I'm going to show you is a blouse that I got at Madewell as well. And it's just this striped, I think, I can't remember the name of the specific shirt. But I know that they still have it, and they have it in a lot of different patterns. But this one is the gray and white striped. And I will try it on for you in this video so you can see what it looks like. But I think it's important to have a good striped blouse. I got it in an extra small. I would say um, it does run a little flowy but I always do like the front tuck to give me a little so I don't look so frumpy. Um, but yeah, I just love this. Next top that I have is probably the most basic thing in my wardrobe but very important to have and that is just a regular white v-neck shirt. So every time I do that it like makes me really dark. Um, if you don't have just a white v-neck, I would recommend Everlane for your basics. That's where I got this one. I got it in a medium, and I know that seems strange. I'm not typically a medium in tops, but I ordered a small, and it was just a little tight in the bust, and so I ended up having to go up to a medium, and it is a much more relaxed fit and kind of how I wanted it to fit. So depending on how you want your clothes to fit. But anyway, so it's just a regular v-neck shirt. The v's not too low. I don't have to wear a cami. The sleeves are not too capped. It's long enough. It's just the perfect v-neck white shirt. And you can layer this or wear it on its own. It's great. The next thing that I purchased, also from Everlane, I've really found Everlane to be a great place um, for your basics, is just this blue jean shirt. Now I wanted not, I have a blue jean jacket, which I'm going to show you next, but I wanted just a 
a jean shirt, like collared shirt. And I didn't want one that was super faded or like washed out. I just wanted like clean blue, you know, blue jean shirt. And they had a lot of different shades, but this is the one that I went for and I'll link the specific color that I got down below. But it's just a basic jean shirt. You can roll up the sleeves, you can wear them down, you can wear it open, you can close it, you can wear that little white v-neck under it with like white jeans or your black jeans or even your blue jeans if you want to. I mean, it's just super basic and I love this. I've worn it a ton. It's super good quality. When you first get it, it is a little stiff, but then wear it, wash it, and it's like a dream. Um, and the collar will relax some too. So I love this and definitely recommend Everlane. If you do not have a blue jean jacket in your wardrobe, that would be probably like the number one thing I would suggest because it's so versatile and you can dress it up, dress it down, and it's just, it's a great item to have, especially if you're trying to have fewer pieces. So this is the one that I have and honestly, I don't know what I would do without this jacket. I wear it so much. absolutely love it. Mine is from J. Crew. I have had this for a really long time. This is one of those items that you're not going to be able to go out and get this identical one. But they have jean jackets everywhere. And if I had to recommend one, I would say that Madewell has one that is like the perfect. And it's probably the most similar to this. And if this one ever wears out on me and I have to get another one, which I'm sure is going to happen eventually, I'll get the Madewell one. So this is um, just your average jean jacket. It is a little bit like faded and worn and that's fine because that other blue jean shirt I have is not, is more like a, a simple wash. So I think that this is a good balance to have. Um, yeah, so jean jacket. Last but not least is another item that I don't think that you'll be able to get your hands on, but you can totally get something similar to it. And it's something I've been looking for for a while, and that is a trench coat. So, this is the one that I have. It is from Gap. I didn't purchase it from Gap. I purchased it from Hudson's. I've spoke about Hudson's before. If you live in the South, I don't know where all the Hudson's are, but I know they're in the South. Um, that's where it was on super clearance, and it is just a basic trench coat. I wanted one that was a certain color. I wanted it to be a certain um, feel, like like niceness like some of them were super thin and I didn't feel like they would even really keep me warm even though where I live especially right now I don't even want to think about putting this on I'm gonna try it on for you but it is so hot in South Mississippi right now everybody is just miserable like I don't know this is one of the hottest summers that we've had I feel like so I can't even imagine wearing this anytime soon but when it does cool off on the, the days that we do have cool cool weather um, or cold weather. This is going to be really nice. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'm sorry that it's been so long but it's not going to be that long next time until I post another video. So, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.